Ciao e bentornati! Welcome back to Pillole d'Italiano. Let's call today's episode, episode number 82, Dog Talk. A few weeks ago I received an email that truly made me smile. One of you wrote me that they like to practice their Italian with their dog, which I found a wonderful idea. I'm all about trying to find creative ways to use your Italian in practice. Um, if you're by yourself, if you're with someone else, if you're with one of your pets, it doesn't really matter as long as you get those Italian juices flowing. And so I'm all about it. I am loving the creative ways that you can all come up with to practice your Italian more, um, getting out of that mental space, the limiting belief that since I'm not in Italy, uh, it's impossible to practice or it's really hard to become fluent. You can start with baby steps you can start wherever you're at. And today I wanna to help you learn a few fundamental commands that you can use with your dog. You can use it with a cat too, though they probably are not gonna listen. I try and speak in Italian with my cats, but they rarely respond. Well, I guess you could use some of these commands with kids too, if they're really unruly. We're going to see six commands today. Keep in mind that two of them are adjectives. So, of course, you will have a masculine and a feminine version of those. Before we jump in, please consider leaving a comment suggesting other simple ways of practicing and using your Italian that you came up with. Um, if you think that they're too weird or you're embarrassed to share in front of everyone, you can send me an email too. And I might end up sharing the most brilliant ideas with the community because I think that we can all learn from each other, but of course I'm not going to name names, so rest assured. But now let's start with the first command of the day. Vieni! 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 Or also, vieni qui! Come here. So either come or come here. Vieni, it's the imperative for venire, the verb to come. Now, if you are teaching your dog tricks, such as to jump on command, the command for jump from the verb saltare to jump is salta. 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 And if you want your dog to sit down, then you would use the adjective seduto, seduto, or for a female dog, seduta, seduta. This command works particularly well with children too. If you want them, for example, to stay seated at the table throughout the meal, you could tell your little boy seduto, per favore. It's nice to add more words when you're talking with people and not dogs. Or your little girl, that will be seduta, seduta per favore. And then, of course, if you want to use a fuller sentence, you will add the verb stare because you're telling that kid to stay seated. So, stai seduto, per favore, or stai seduta, per favore. But to a dog, you can just simply say seduto or seduta. Seduta. Now, when your dog is sitting down, sometimes you want them to lay down on the ground and for that, we would say a terra, a terra, due parole, two words, a terra. Now, terra means ground or soil, and so when you say a terra, you're inviting that dog to be on the ground. If you want your dog to stop whatever they're doing, maybe they're about to cross the street and there are cars coming, then you can yell fermo or ferma for a female dog. It's basically like yelling stop, but it is an adjective, so that's why you need to create accordance. And last but not least, and this is a command that I give a lot to my cats, is ju. That means down. Um, well, cats tend to jump on furniture, sometimes dogs too, so when you want them to jump down, to get down from couches, tables, etc., that's a very useful command. Ju. Hey, Ju. Ju. And when it comes to dogs, I'm also thinking about when they tend to jump because they're so excited and they're greeting people and they're putting right their front paws on someone. That's the moment where you want to yell at them, Ju. 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 Well, that's it for today. I truly hope you enjoyed this 
short episode. Let me know what you think by leaving a comment in the comment section below and don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you're new to it. And I will see you in a week. Ciao, a presto!